uh, we are back with our SVN series continuation this will be part 3 in which uh, we will be configuring SVN on HTTP so for this uh, I need to launch two instances like I already did but I will be doing, doing it again for this tutorial so I will be using SVN and I will be using SVN client obviously if you are putting SVN on HTTP so I should be able to use it from other client right so to do this I will be um, I will be doing this part into uh, into three videos first we will be installing uh, instances then we will be configuring SVN and then we will be in third part we will be accessing and using SVN on to our client right so let's launch the instance first and that will be the SVN instance so I'm launching a simple Red Hat instance Red Hat 7 instance in, in my AWS and I will be using it as an SVN instance so I will be using free tire Red Hat and uh, I will be using all the basic configuration let's go ahead I will tag it as an SVN instance I will be using the normal security group and my security group will be having all TCP IP and ICMP checks allowed from everywhere so that I can easily ping both those instances so my instance is being launched so this will be my SVN instance SVN instance is ready now we will be connecting with this instance and first thing I need to do is I need to disable the SE Linux then I will reboot that system then I will um, simultaneously be configuring SVN client for it why I want to make S SE Linux disabled because I want to I don't want any context changing commands to be running I want to make it keep it simple so the SELINUX file is sysconfig SELINUX make it from enforcing to disabled so now I reboot the server my SVN server on which I will be configuring it now I will simultaneously configure the SVN client I will be using the same Red Hat server with the default settings SVN underscore client I will be using the existing red uh, existing security group now I will be launching so my both instances are launching now and my second instance will be will also be rebooting so now both my SVN and SVN client are almost ready so this will be the video one in SVN series uh, in which we have created the SVN and SVN client so in video 2 of SVN configuration of AWS we will be configuring SVN on SVN server and uh, we will going through the steps of configuration on SVN uh, uh, SVN on SVN server if you like this video subscribe and share it and keep learning for continuation of SVN configuration refer part 2 thank you